Uh, let's bring in Buck Ballard, a trucker with 25 years of experience. He's also the host of the Trucker Podcast. He joins us now from California, of course, uh, in his truck. Buck, good morning to you uh, for a second year in a row for Truck Week. Thanks. Well, why thank you and uh, thank you invite, for inviting me. And hey, hats off to Walmart. That's incredible. Yeah, it really, really is. I know, Buck, that we had you on for Truck Week last year. You spoke with my colleague, Marnie Hughes, and you were just one of our favorite voices to highlight because you do seem to have such a love for the open road. Uh, take us back to the beginning for you. What was it that drew you to the industry in the first place? Honestly, it was um, the money and the just the love of the road. It's always been uh, it's always been a fascination of mine. Way way back when, in the days of uh, TV shows like Then Came Bronson and Moving On, and it's been more about trucking. It's been about uh, not all of the aspects, but it's a tough lifestyle out here. But it is a lifestyle. When you say tough lifestyle, I was just thinking about this yesterday. My mom and I love a good road trip, Buck. And often, you know, when we're on the road, we say in our next life, we're going to be truck drivers. But then I really think about what you do every day. You sit for that long every day for your whole career with a lot of responsibility behind you. That has to take a toll physically, mentally, emotionally, being away from family. What are the biggest challenges uh, to the lifestyle that you've chosen for yourself? You know, the challenges are uh, the away time. Uh, in my case, because of the industry I serve, um, there is a lot of downtime. And it's uh, things you're able to do to fill that downtime, be it uh, exploring a new town, taking an online course. Uh, in my case, I've got a keyboard in here, and I'm doing online piano lessons. Oh, fantastic. Uh, <laughs> there, there's all sorts of things you can do. Most don't have that free time. Most are running their tails off, uh, working a 70-hour work week. How's the piano going? <laughs> slow but sure, slow but sure. <laughs> next time we have you on, maybe next year, you can uh, you can provide us with uh, your latest piece. Hey, I know you've said before that we're in a different day and age in trucking. Uh, it was a thing that used to be romanticized on TV and in media. Uh, but in the two decades you've been a trucker, you've observed a lot of turnover in the industry, right? I mean, first year truckers calling it quits. What are some of the reasons truckers are, are, are pumping their brakes and saying, you know what, maybe maybe this isn't for me? You know, I think a lot of it is just expectations and maybe companies not being realistic. And some of it is, quite honestly, the way a lot of the larger companies treat many of their drivers once they're out there. Uh, parking is a bear. It, it's not easy to find a place to park, especially on the East Coast or the West Coast. That shows nowhere on trucking companies' radar, but it's always on the top three in truck drivers' radar. Uh, there, there needs to be some solutions to that. Yeah, I know a lot of people echoing your sentiments, uh, especially people that were highlighting this week. Um, and lastly, I wanted to say you now work for an entertainment company that moves and transports equipments for music tours, musicians. How different has that been any different than what you were doing previously or or, or pretty similar? It, it has been a huge difference. Uh, we do about half the miles of an over the road trucker and uh we're right there with Walmart and beyond as far as pay goes. Uh, but we are gone for a long time. We stay out the length of the tour and then generally hop to another tour. And rather than go home on weekends or for a few days here and there, we tend to go home for a month or two at a time and you know take some good time. Uh, it's not for everybody, but if it fits your lifestyle or you just want to suck it up for a few years and change your retirement, it, it's a great alternative. Home time sounds good to me. I'm sure your family uh, is very excited for the change, too. Uh, Buck Ballard, so good to see you once again on Truck Week. We, we really appreciate your time and your insights this morning. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.